more of our approaches to improving the budget. But this is all about choice. Bill Shorten there on ABC Radio this morning. And Wilhelm Harnish from the Master Builders Association is speaking right now about the rejection of the Australian Building and Construction Commission bill in the Senate last night. Let's take a listen now to Wilhelm Harnish. etc. that is much needed to maintain Australia's living standards. So we are deeply concerned on a range of fronts, both in the short term, the impact it has on uh, the confidence of overseas investors, but equally important about the mums and dads being denied cheaper hospitals and cheaper schools in going forward. Mr Harnish, do you think the uh, defeat of the ABCC legislation for a second time uh, can justify a uh, double dissolution election? Look, Master Bills is happy for the election to be fought over for the mums and dads who deserve to get schools at a much lower cost, up to 30% cheaper. You know, we hear from the community they're crying out for schools and hospitals and childcare facilities, so why should the unions impose a 30% premium on the construction of those vital community infrastructure just because of their industrial thuggery, their unwillingness to abide by the rule of law? Simply, that's an indefensible position by the building unions to be taken. Is there a, a further concern, given that the Coalition took the ABCC to the last election and was unable to get it through, that in a double dissolution election, if things tighten up in the lower house, it still might not be able to get it through a joint sitting? Well, that's something for the government to manage, uh, but what we're saying is the last government had the mandate for the introduction of the ABCC bills. Um, that uh, will has been thwarted by the Senate. It's now important and we're very happy for this to be tested once again with the electorate uh, in a double dissolution situation. Can I just ask a question about the, the code? I understand that one of the key aspects of the ABCC was the introduction of a new code. What are the ramifications of this further delay to the, to the new code and, and for big um, uh, developers? Look, that's a good question to be asking because that's one of the factors that are now driving uh, a lack of confidence. There's a whole uncertainty about where the bill might be. You know, it could take up to six months uh, uh, before the ABCC bills gets passed, assuming that uh, Malcolm Turnbull gets re-elected. So this creates a whole lot of uncertainty in the construction sector. It will spook investors. So therefore we're very concerned about the short-term impact of the defeat of the bills yesterday. OK, so that was live from Parliament House in Canberra. That was uh, Willem Harnish from the Master Builders Association. And we just received notification that the Prime Minister is going to be holding a media conference or he'll start at an event in around an hour's time in Canberra. There's no fixed time yet on the uh, media interview, uh, the media conference as part of that, but we'll have that covered for you here on ABC News 24. The Prime Minister expected to get up uh, in front of the media in the next hour or so. The case against an Australian mother and a channel